Joyce, shifting gears a bit before we run out of time. In Wisconsin yesterday, we saw a totally new legal approach to January the 6th. The actual Electoral College delegates in Wisconsin filed a lawsuit against not just the 10 Republicans who pretended to be the state's Electoral College delegates, but also a Trump campaign lawyer involved in the scheme and the lawyer who helped come up with the scheme in the first place. That strikes me as a way for individuals to hold the people who tried to overturn our election responsible in case the Justice Department doesn't. Do you think that case has legs, though? This is a brilliant lawsuit. It uses Wisconsin state law claims to try to hold the fake slate of electors accountable. It's a roadmap, quite frankly, for other states uh, to file the same sort of actions using their state law. What I like about this lawsuit is because this fake set slate of electors is still trying, even at this late date, to overturn the Wisconsin election results. They haven't yet conceded. This lawsuit seeks declaratory uh, uh, and injunctive relief, the sorts of legal remedies that would prevent and deter future uh, faux electors and perhaps this entire slate of faux electors from taking similar action. It would impose, if it's successful, large amounts of punitive damages. It is a very carefully crafted lawsuit to de uh, designed to both deter, but also to make it very difficult for these sorts of events to take place in the future. Let us see what happens. Joyce Vance, former U.S. attorney, professor at the University of Alabama School of Law. Thank you for your time and your analysis tonight, as ever.